Wizard of West LA. Hello, today we are working with the Pi Pico and we are going to do something called PWM. And in this, what we're going to do is pulse width modulation. It's kind of what it, what it sounds like. And what it does, it is a way, instead of turning on and off an LED of blinking it really fast and really slow to make it looks to make it look like it is on or off. This happens a lot in the devices we have. You will see a charging light or various things like that. Even on your car, you may charge your car and you will see a you will see an LED on the car that will slowly dim or glow. Bluetooth devices in your car or even on other devices when they show they are connected or even charging, you will see that light go on and off. So for this project, let's use a resistor. And this resistor for this project, they're not always the same. I'm just telling you what I'm using. I'm using a 20 ohm resistor for this project and I am choosing a just a random blue LED for this project. The pin we're using is, actually I can zoom it in right here, is the last pin which on our program which we would type out is number 15. So it's the last pin. So what we will do on our first step with this I'll zoom it in. On our first step, what we will do is run a wire from 15 to any random spot. By the way, this other things on this board are not used. They, they're not even plugged in. This is a power supply. We're not using that. We're running everything from the Pi Pico to USB. Let's put the LED around here. So we're going from 15, that last pin, and we'll just put this here to give us some space. And then the next thing we're going to do is put a resistor across. And what I'm going to do is put the resistor over across from here to here. So we're running the resistor across here, over to here. And the goal with this is you want to put the long pin, there's a short and long pin, you wanna put the long pin on the resistor. I'm gonna put this on there. And on here, the long pin right here is hooked up to the resistor. The short pin goes to ground. And on the short pin, I am hooking up on the other side. And the short pin goes to number three on this side you can see, and that is the ground pin. You will be able to see this, do whatever we're doing, even though the parts are a little bit in the way, but this is prototyping, this is fun, and we're playing with breadboard, so it's a lot of fun. So we're using this last pin, and this goes from the resistor, goes across to this pin, which is the long pin, and then the short pin on the other end that follow that wire and that goes to ground. So those are the wire ups for the LED and that's all we're using on that. Now let's go to the code. Okay, now for some code. So we have from machine import pin and PWM. From time import sleep. PWM is equal to this function PWM, 
which means we're going to tell it to use pin 15 as PWM. So now we have PWM, and this one is an important one, frequency, which we will be playing with in a little bit. I'll explain this in a sec, while true. So now we do these two for loops. For duty in range 65025, put the colon after, we do the following. We do PWM duty U16, this is in the, the library, from there, and sleep 0 0.0001. So that does duty, and this will cycle from 0 to this number, 65025. It does this. It goes through. We have another one. Duty and range. 65025. Now this is counting backwards. And what it's doing is PWM do U16 duty. And then we do sleep 0 0.0001. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to plug this into we are going to plug this into the Pi Pico and let's see what it does on video. So let me plug it in. And the trick I noticed when I plug this in, if I hit stop, it sees the Pi Pico. So now let's take a look at what the LED does. The code as written, if I send it to the code, if I send it to the Pico, and I'm going to call it PWM lesson, the air was didn't capitalize the P. There we go. So now I sent it and you see the light, what it's doing right now. There, you can see a dimming. Instead of on and off, it will pulse. Pretty neat, isn't it? What it is doing is very quickly turning on and off to the frequency of a thousand and then it's slowing down. And when it's slowing down, that's when it starts to dim. That's what these two loops do. This one glows and this one dims because it counts by minus one. Now look at this. Let's do an experiment here. If I change this to 10, you'll see it flash because that's extremely low frequency. There, see? See it flashes faster, then it flashes slower. Then it flashes faster then it'll flash slower. Let's try it at 30. Will it do it if I hit this? I think it sends it. No, it has to stop. And then we hit this there. It's a little faster. So we had it set at 1000. So that is the code for an LED making it dim using pulse wave modulation, using these two very simple loops that counts, and this is some high number in the cycle that tells it that it's going to 65025, which is its 
fastest duty cycle at a thousand at that frequency so what it's doing this would be considered a hundred percent and the other what goes down to zero so it's actually it's almost like it's varying the frequency and what it's doing when it's varying the the uh, frequency uh, well actually the duty cycle of this frequency what it's actually doing it's changing that frequency to make it dim because you can see what it does at 10 I think 10 is a good example of how LEDs are dimmed so now you know how that works in devices when you see LEDs dim on and off it's basically a PWM program that goes through on a chip so feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and remember subscribe to the channel as we will be doing a lot of videos on the Pi Pico and a lot of fun devices so remember keep on learning